Hello, good evening, everyone. How are you tonight? Good evening. Good evening. Hello, Abel. Hello, Flor. Hello, Aida. Good evening again. Welcome to the class. How was your day today? Pues sí. That's okay. It was okay. Okay, that is perfect. Flor Ramos, how was your day? Raúl, Raúl. Really, it was horrible. Mm -hmm. Tuvo un día malo el día de hoy. Yes. Yes. Ah, okay, I'm sorry to hear that. Okay, yes. tomorrow will be nice. So, just take it easy. Um, hello, Maria Magdalena. Welcome to the class. And Sumara, good evening. For today, we are going to start learning the section number three from your model, right? Uh, what is the name of this? What is the name of the section three? The name of the section three is what's your neighborhood like? Let's start with this question. Do you like your neighborhood? Do you like your neighborhood? Do you really like the place where you live? Hello, hello, can you listen to me? Do you like your neighborhood? Neighborhood is el vecindario, so do you like it? Yes, I like it. Oh, yeah. really? Well, Abel, do you like your neighborhood? Maria Magdalena, do you like your neighborhood? Yes, yes I like it. Okay, that is great. So, Ana Gabriela, do you like your neighborhood? Yes, I like it. Okay, that is excellent. And what is there in your neighborhood? Which places can we find there? Is there I a... can... Tell me, Maria, please. Okay, thanks. I can find a park, a church, a movie theater. I don't remember how can I say uh, Alcaldía. City Municipal. Hall. City Hall. Uh, okay. The City Hall mm, is very great. Oh, but, okay. Um, yeah. That's it. Okay. Thank you so much, Maria Magdalena. So there is a park, there is a church, there is a movie theater. That is great. And what is there in your neighborhood? Let's see. Aida Marisol, what is there in your neighborhood? There is a, a police station. The, there is the school. Um, the shirt. Um, that's it. <laughs> okay, very good. Thank you so much. So she said. Uh, there is a police station, there is a school, and there is a church. And what about your neighborhood, Flor? What is there in your neighborhood? Okay, no tuve un fin de semana, okay. <laughs> Um, okay, I'm sorry to hear that, but uh, in your neighborhood, in su vecindario, Flor, which places mm. can we find? I, I only house. Mm. No. Okay, no places, no, no important places, they're just houses. No. Let's see, is there a bakery? Is there a bakery in your neighborhood? Pan panaderia? I don't know. Is there a I, 
Yes, yes. Pero eh, eh, también um, I start I um, como para decir donde venden verdura. There is a market. Then there is a, a grocery store. Yes. Uh, I only único. Only those places. Okay, excellent. Thank you, Flor Ramos. So let's see, there are many places that are in our neighborhoods, right? Like there is a soccer field, a church, bakery, a grocery store, market, a mall, movie theater, uh, parks, police station, schools. And that's where we are going to learn to, tonight, right? Some places in our neighborhood and how to talk about there. To talk about places in our neighborhood, we use there is, right? There is a bank, there is a mall, there is a movie theater, there is an internet cafe, there is a there is a shop, there is a grocery store. So we use there is, right? And the question is, is there? And that is what we are going to learn tonight. So let's start with this. Let me share with you the presentation for tonight. And we are going to start the class right here. So tonight we are starting section number three. Oh, come on, this is another one. Okay, this is the topic for tonight. What's your neighborhood light? Uh, ¿Cómo es tu vecindario? What's your neighborhood light? Then this is our class number five and this is the starting of section number three. The objective for tonight is this one. In this session, participants will learn about how to ask and answer question with this. This is, there are one, any, and some. So let's start with this, right? And we are going to start with this word bank uh, or word power places. We are going to match the word and the definition, and we are going to practice asking the question with a part. That is the first activity for tonight, and I have here the following places that we can find in a neighborhood. Let's see, for example, barbershop, laundromat, library, stationary store, travel agency, grocery store, and theater. So let's see what is a barbershop. What's a barbershop? And then we find the definition in the letter. It's a place where you... Okay, so, peluquería. Peluquería, that is the meaning. Yes, peluquería. And in English, it's a place Barbaria. where you get Barbaria. a haircut. La, it's a place where you get a haircut. That is the answer. The laundromat. What's a laundromat? It's a place where you. It's a place where you. Wash and dry clothes. Yes, you are right. Thank you so much. What's a laundromat? It's a place where you wash and dry clothes. Thank you. Let's see. What's a library? Una librería. Mm, librería? Not really. Yes. Biblioteca. 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 It's a hmm? place where you... Es como un ciber. Mm. No. no. Okay, library is a place where you can find a lot of books. And you can borrow. Una biblioteca. Them. Yes, una biblioteca. That is. So what a library? It's a place where you. What is the right definition there? So what is it? There is a place where you borrow books. Excellent. That is the answer. It is a place where you borrow books. A stationary store. A stationary store. What is it? What is a stationary store? Ahora, sí, a stationary store is a place where you can buy papers, markers, colors. Sería como la librería. 
como la librería. Lo que... Exactly, a lo que nosotros le llamamos librería. That is, that is an stationary store. So what is the definition? It's a place where you... It's a place where you... It's a place where you... One, two, three. Which letter is the correct? It's, it's a place where you buy cars and paper. Thank you so much. Yes, that is the answer. And what's in the stationery store? It's a place where you buy cards and papers. Then we have travel agency. Travel agency. It's a place that is make a reservation for a trip. Perfect. That is the answer. It's a place where you make reservations for a trip. And theater. Finally, we have theater there. It's a place. It's a place where you see, see a movie or play. Excellent. That is the answer. It's a place where you see a movie or a play. Es donde ve una película o una presentación de una obra. Teatro. That is a theater. That's a theater. So we have here seven, seven places. Barbershop, laundromat, library, stationery store, travel agency, grocery store, and theater. And I have the definition. It's a place where you. Es un lugar donde usted. So let's see. Let's start with Aida Marisol. What a stationary store, Aida. What a stationary store. It's a place there. It's a place where you. Um, buy. Buy. Buy car and play. play by. Um, and cards, cards, and, and pamper. And pamper. Okay, it's a know. place. It's a place where you buy cards and paper. Can you say the sentence? It's a place where you buy cards and paper. Cards and paper. Thank you so oh, much. Oh, buy cards and paper. It's the number C. Yes, letter C is the correct oh, okay. one. Thank you. Okay. Ana Gabriela, uh, what is a grocery store? Uh, it's a place where you buy food. Thank you. Yes, it's a place where you buy food. Thank you, Flor Ramos. What is a laundromat? Laundromat. Uh, it's a place where you is is a, a play where you uh, wash and dry clothes. Excellent. That is the answer, Maria Magdalena. What is a barbershop? A barbershop is a place uh, where you can get a haircut. Thank you. That's right. Thank you so much. Uh, Kevin, what is a theater? Uh, I don't know what, what is theater to share. Ah, okay. Thank you. So a theater, it's a place where you see a movie or a play. Letter E. And now I have this other uh, vocabulary here. Clothing store, drugstore, internet cafe, music store, post office. So do you know these places? Clothing store, drugstore, internet cafe, music store, and post office. Do you know the meaning of this question? Oh, sorry, of this vocabulary in Spanish? Do you know what is the meaning of this word? Let's see, clothing store. What is a clothing store? What's a clothing store? Uh, it's venta de ropa. 
Excellent. Yes, una tienda de ropa. Drugstore. What about drugstore? Farmacia. Yes, it's a pharmacy. Another way to say pharmacy. Internet cafe. Inclusive. Yes, that is a music store. Tienda de música. Post office. Post office. Correo. Correo, oficina postal. Very good. Now, um, it's a place where you find new fashion. That is the clothing store. Can you please give me a definition of drugstore? What is a drugstore? Then you say, it's a place where you... It's a place where you buy some uh, pills. And... Excellent. It's a place where you buy some pills. Very good. Or medicine. But it's a place where you buy medicine. But what is an internet cafe? It's a place where you... It's a place there, there you in, in the internet. Okay, it's a place mm. where you get access to internet. Very good. And what is a music store? It's a play there, CD. It's a play by a CD. It's a place where you buy CDs. It's a place where you buy It's CDs. a place there you buy CD. And what about post office? What is a post office? It's a place where you send cards or package. Excellent. It's a place where you send letters, letters and packages. Very good. Those are the answers. Thank you so much for your help in this part. So don't forget about this vocabulary. We're going to use it later. So look at this picture. What do you think is happening in this conversation? ¿Te acuerdas cuando se mudaron de casa? Do you remember that? ¿Cómo se sintieron la primera vez que llegaron a su vecindario? ¿Qué dicen el día de hoy? Did you feel happy? Did you feel anxious? Did you feel sad? O ahí donde viven ahora, ahí nacieron. Hayan vivido toda su vida o se han mudado. So look at this conversation. I'm your new neighbor. I'm your new neighbor. So it's a nuevo vecino. So listen to this conversation, please. Let's listen. Excuse me. I'm your new neighbor, Jack. I just moved in. Oh, yes. I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes, there are some on Pine Street. Oh, good. And is there a laundromat near here? Well, I think there's one across from the shopping center. Thank you. By the way, there's a barber shop in the shopping center, too. A barber shop? Okay, so, uh, excuse me, I'm your new neighbor, Jack. I just moved in. Oh, yes, I'm looking for a grocery store. ¿Qué lugar está buscando? What is a no, Um, no, 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 it's a place where you buy. It's a place where you buy. Excellent. It's a place where you buy food. That is a grocery store. Are there any around here? Hay alguna aquí cerca? Yes, there are some on Pine Street. Oh, good. And there is a laundromat. What is a laundromat? 
What is a laundromat? It's a place where you. It's a place where you wash and dry clothes. Excellent. That is a laundromat. Uh, is there a laundromat near here? Well, I think there is one across from the shopping center. Thank you. By the way, there is a barber shop in the shopping center too. A barber shop. So, what is a barber shop? Peluqueria. Okay, it's a place, place for you. where you. It's a place with you. Mm, the haircut. Get a haircut. Thank you. Get it's a place a where you. Uh, ¿Por qué le diría eso la señora, al muchacho? Está peludo. Oh, peludo. <laughs> Lo mandó a la que se corte el cabello. Lo mandaron because a la peluquería. A, a long hair. Yeah. Yes, because he has long hair. Okay, but look, eh, he has blonde, right? He's blonde. Es rubio el muchacho. Okay. Se le ve bonito el pelo largo o no? What do you think? Ahí la say, yes, yes, yes. 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 <laughs> <It's the best. laughs> okay, now, uh, do you have any questions? Preguntas? Vocabulary? New vocabulary in this conversation? I have some question for you. Let's see, what is the meaning of the phrase, excuse me? What's the meaning of the phrase, excuse me? Disculpe. Okay, excellent. Cuando vamos a hablarle a una persona que no conocemos, we use this phrase, right? Excuse me. Disculpe, puedo hablar con usted. Excuse me. So you say, I'm your new neighbor, Jack. I just moved in. I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Is it around? What is the name of around here? Are there any around here? Los alrededores. Okay, aquí cerca. Los alrededores. Yes. There are some on Pine Street. Is it on que está ahí en la conversación? Yes, there are some on Pine Street. It's a preposition of place. What is the meaning of this preposition? On. In. 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 Eh, sobre de, como preposición significa sobre de. On Pine Street. O encima de. Sobre de. esas calles. Sobre esa calle, ahí están las, las grocery store. Then, near here. Near, what is the meaning of the word near? Una. Aquí. No, cerca. Cerca, ¿verdad? Uh, aquí. Is there a lot of here? Hay una cerca de aquí. Then, well, I think there's one across front. Across front is another position of place. Frente de. En frente de. Is the meaning of this. And there is one more. By the way, there's a barber shop in the shopping center. Es el fin que está ahí es la preposición de esa no es una place. What is the meaning of him? In? 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 In. No. Uh, in. Yes, it means in too, but esa preposición de place significa dentro de. Dentro de. That is the meaning of in. So there's a barber shop in the shopping centers. Es adentro del, adentro del, del, del shopping center. Adentro de. Yes, that is the meaning of the center. Okay? So let's practice. Let's listen again. Teacher. Yes. Una, una pregunta. Eh, do, en, en, la, en el segundo párrafo de Jack, quiero entender por qué le dice I am looking for. O sea, en, en qué contexto, cómo, cómo es que se lo dice él a, a la señora. Porque yo entiendo que está diciéndole como yo estoy, yo estoy mirando, pero me imagino que es en otro tipo de contexto. Ok. Look for is a place, Albert. Look for is a frase de por un verbo y una preposición. En este caso el verbo look y la preposición for. Eh, cuando están juntas look o for, el significado es buscar. 
Oh, oh, ok, ok. ¿Cuál es gustar? Buscar, buscar. Ah, buscar, oh, ok, buscar. Como cuando se le pierde la llave de la casa, I am looking for my key. Estoy buscando mi llave. O cuando but se it, le pierde el control but remoto. It, sorry, but, but it's not similar to search. Search? No, it's for mm -hmm. internet. Ah, oh. ok. Looking for is like, están bebiendo, ¿verdad? Están bebiendo, oh. that is looking for. And searching es como investigando. Thank you. Okay, teacher. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, thank you for your question. Very excellent. That's great. Y en este caso está en presente progresivo. En este momento estoy buscando que I am looking for a grocery store. Thank you for your question. So listen, pay attention to the pronunciation because we are going to practice this conversation. Let's start with this. Excuse me. I'm your new neighbor, Jack. I just moved in. Oh, yes. I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes, there are some on Pine Street. Oh, good. And is there a laundromat near here? Well, I think there's one across from the shopping center. Thank you. By the way, there's a barber shop in the shopping center, too. A barber shop? Okay, and it doesn't take to practice in this small conversation. Uh, thank you, Kevin. Thank you, Ana Gabriela. Thank you. Veo que si quieren participar el día de hoy. Thank you, Ana. Thank you, Kevin. Kevin, you are Jack. Uh, Ana Gabriela, you are stay. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay. Uh, excuse me. I am your new neighbor. Jack, I am just moved in. Oh, yes. I am looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes, there are some on Pine Street. Oh, good. And is there a laundromat near here? Well, I think there is one cross from the shopping center. Thank you. By the way, there are, there is a barber shop in the shopping center too. A barber shop? Oh, Excellent. Thank you so much. Very good. Le faltó una sorpresa a barbershop. <laughs> Why a barbershop? That is great. Thank you so much, uh, Kevin, Eduardo, and Anna. And let's see any other volunteer for tonight who wants to participate. Anyone? Me. Thank you, Aida. Any other volunteer to practice with Aida? Who wants to be Jack? Maria okay. Martinez, Maria. thank you so much. So let's listen, Aida and Maria. Maria, you are Jack. Aida, you are going to read Mrs. Dave Hart. Are you ready to start? Yes. Right. I'm ready. Let's do it. Excuse me. I am your new neighbor, Jack. I just moved in. Oh, yes. I am looking for a grocery store. Are there uh, any around here? Yes, there are some on Pine Street. Oh, good. And is there a lounge near here? Well, I think there's one across from the shopping center. Thank you. By the way, there is a barber shop in the shopping center too. A barber shop? Excellent, thank you so much. Very good job. Just we need to practice fluency, right? To read a little bit more, uh, a little bit faster, right? So like, it, Excuse me, I am your new neighbor, Jack. I just moved in. Oh, yes, I am looking for a grocery store. So we need to practice right fluency in this case. But very good job. The pronunciation was excellent. Okay, yes, let's practice fluency. Thank you so much. Let's go with the next uh, explanation. Here, look at this. This is the grammar focus for tonight. And there is, there are, 
one penny and some. And we are going to study this question. Is there a laundromat near here? When we are talking in singular, one place, we are looking for one place we are going to use, is there? Is there? Is there a church near here? Is there a bank near here? Is there a hospital near here? Is this a hotel near here? Is there a shopping center near here? So, si buscamos una cosa, un lugar, is there. Yes, there is. There's one across from the shopping center. No, there isn't, but there's one next to the library. Then, if we are looking for two places, or in plural, we are going to use, are there? Are there any grocery stores around here? Yes, there are. There are some nice stores on Pine Street. No, there aren't, but there are some on Third Avenue. No, there aren't any around here. So remember this, if it is singular, we use this there. If it is plural, we say, are there? Are there any? Is there a? Or an, right? In this case. And how to answer them? Yes, there is. No, there isn't. So the respuesta is short. Those are the short answers. But if we need to give more explanation, we say, yes, there is. There is one across from the shopping center. No, there isn't, but there's one next to the library. And we use the preposition of place to locate the places, right? To say, where are they? Let's see, we can use the following preposition. On, next to, near, or close to, across from, or opposite, in front of, in back or behind, between, or on the corner of. Those are the preposition. So let's see, on. It's mean sobre de, ¿verdad? Cuando está justo después de la acera, decimos on, está en esa calle. Next to, a la parte. That is the meaning of next to, near, or close to, cerca. Across from, or opposite, en frente de, o opuesto a. In front of, justo en frente, justo en frente, en frente de. In back of or behind, atrás de. Then we have between, in medio de. And finally, on the corner. So let's listen and practice the pronunciation. Let's listen to these examples and also the preposition. There is, there are. One, any, some. Is there a laundromat near here? Yes, there is. There's one across from the shopping center. No, there isn't, but there's one next to the library. Are there any grocery stores around here? Yes, there are. There are some nice stores on Pine Street. No, there aren't, but there are some on 3rd Avenue. No, there aren't any around here. Prepositions On Next to Near Close to, across from, opposite, in front of, in back of, behind, between, on the corner of. If you want. Do you have any question in this part? Questions? Look at this answer. Is there a laundromat near here? We say, yes, there is. There's one. Ese one lo utilizamos para sustituir al nombre, ¿verdad? Y no sonar repetitivos. So let's say, yes, there is one across from the shopping center. En lugar de decir, yes, there's a laundromat across from the shopping center, we change the noun for one. And any, we use any in negative sentences, right? No, there aren't any. To say, no, no hay ninguno, no hay ninguna. In some, cuando queremos decir algunos, yes, there are some nice stores on Pine Street. Sí, hay algunas tiendas bonitas en Pine Street. Some, algunos, any, ninguno, and one, para no repetir el nombre en la canción. There is, there are. 
Then is there a? This is the question. When we are looking for a place, we use this question. Is there a near here? Is there a shopping center? Is there an internet cafe near here? Is there a laundromat near here? And the answer is yes, there is, no, there isn't. So that, those are the short questions, short answers. So yes, there is, no, there is, short answer. Yes, there is one next to the gas station. Then here we get an explanation, right? Yes, there is one next to the gas station. Si hay una, ¿verdad? La parte de la estación de gas. Now let's say I look at the following map. Look at this one. Is there a bank in this city? Is there a bank in this neighborhood? Yes, there is. Yes, there is. Yes, there is. Is there a grocery store? Yes. Yes, there is. Yes, there is. Ah, uh, how many can you see? One. Any. Just one. There is one between Mom and Pop's grocery store and Top Shoes. Okay, grocery. We have two grocery stores in this neighborhood. Right? We have Princess Grocery Store and we have Mom and Pop's grocery. Then mm -hmm. the question, then we have to say, are there, are there grocery stores in this neighborhood? Then you say, yes, there are two. Yes, there are two grocery stores. Is there a department store? Department store. Is there a department store? Yes, there is. Uh, is on the corner of uh, Main Street. M. Um, I don't know uh, if I can say First Avenue because it's uh, another corner up. Um, in this case, it's better to use on. It's on Main okay. Street. On Main Street. It's on Main Street, yes. Okay, um, vamos a mencionar, vamos a decir oraciones completas. Let's say, for example, where is the post office? Then you say the post office is on the, the corner. Post of office is. Yes. No lo veo. <laughs> ah, oh, next to the. Is it uh, the front of the park? Okay, it's here in front of the park. Very good. Yes, we can use that sentence too. Okay, yo le pregunto si está en ese lugar y usted me dice si está, está y me da una oración completa con las preposiciones del lugar. Okay, let's see, for example, Ana Gabriela. Is here a drugstore? Uh, yes, there, there is. There is one between grocery mall and pops and top shop. Excellent. Shoes. Is oh. is there a drugstore? Yes, yes, there is one between mom and pops grocery. Between mom and pop grocery and top shoes. Top shoes. Top shoes. Thank you so much. Let's see. Let's go with floor. Floor. Is there a gas station? I guess. Uh, ah, yeah. Is, is there um, 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 in front of um, Post office? In front of? 
Y en this case, we're going to use close to or near, right? Close to or near uh, the close. post office. Está cerca de la oficina postal. Cerca. Mm -hmm. Okay? Oh, okay. Very good. So you say, yes, there is. There is one Bar. near the post office. Post office. Near the post office. Thank you. So let's see, Kevin. Is there a restaurant? Mm. Kevin, is there a restaurant? Restaurant. Where is, where is? Oh, the restaurant, it's a, uh, um, Across the King Plaza Hotel, or or from to, and um and, and next to next to Frank Frank's Cafe. Okay, excellent. Thank you so much. Very good. So you say yes, there is. Yes, there are restaurants. Yes, there is. There is a restaurant. Oh, there is one next to France Cafe opposite Kim Plaza Hotel. También podemos decir on. Yes, there is one on Maple Avenue. Está sobre esta calle. Thank you so much. La next question. Maria, is there a public library? Is there a public library in this neighborhood? Yes, there is. There is one um, next to the gas station on Main Street. Thank you so much. That was an excellent answer. Thank you, Maria Magdalena. So look, the, we can find different places here. So Joe's Gin, we can say Joe's Gin is between O'Day's department store and the post office. The electronic shop, the electronic shop is behind the post office, behind. Then say the shopping center, First Avenue shopping center is close to the gas station and the public library. Está cerca de estos lugares. Then you say uh, the First National Bank is next to Prince Grocery Store is next to. Then you say the park is in front of the post office. The park is in front of the post office. Parker Drugstore is between Top Shoes and Mom's and Pop Grocery. Then Rosa's, Rosa's restaurant is behind Franz Cafe or next to that. I can use that very well here. It will be behind or next to. And also on, it's on Maple Avenue. Kim Plaza Hotel is across from Rose's Restaurant. It's in front of the First National Bank. It's on Pine Street. Or Elm Street, it's on Elm Street. In this Jameson Hotel is on May of Elm Street. So in this way, we use the preposition of place. Let's go to the platform. Vamos a la plataforma y vamos a resolver algunos ejercicios. So we are going to work in this sector side on the platform. So give me a second. Hope you are ready to answer this. Here we go. Vamos a ver quién hace más puntos resolviendo las preguntas. So let's see. This is the exercise that we are going to do. The instruction. Take a look at the map. Read the question and choose the right place according to the direction given. So we are going to use this map to answer the question. Question number one. Is there a near here? Yes, there is one. It's on the corner of M Street and Maple Avenue. Which place is this person looking for? Library, hotel, or park? 
So you, you can see the map here. Let me see. Okay, here it is. So the instruction said, yes, there is one. It's on the corner of Ellen Street and Maple Avenue. El Street on the corner of El Street and Maple Avenue. So what is the place? Hotel. King Plaza Hotel. King Plaza Hotel. We have library, hotel, or farm. Okay, let's choose hotel. Is there around here? Yes, there's one. It's next to Princess Grocery Store. It's next to Princess Grocery Store. Then here is Princess Grocery Store. What is the place? There is a bank around here. Yes, there is one. It is next to the Princess Grocery Store. Okay, then you say bank, right? Let's see number three. Is there a near here? Yes, there is. There is one on Main Street behind Parker Drug Store. Yes, there is. There is one on Main Street behind, behind Parker Drug Store. And we have the following option. Park Joe's Jeans Department Store. Let's look for Parker Drugstore. Department Store. Then it would be the department store. Next question is there on Pine Avenue? No, there isn't, but there is one on First Avenue and Main Street. What is on First Avenue and Main Street? Gas station. Gas station. <clears throat> Let's see. There is one First Avenue and Main Street. What do you think it is? Cafe, gas station, or hotels? Gas station. The gas station, okay. Let's see number five. Are there on Main Street? There, mm -hmm. are, there are some nice stores on Pine Street. Which place is this person looking for? Grocery store. Grocery store. There are some on Pine Street. Let me step up. Okay, yes. Let's see number six. Is there a uh, in here? Yes, there is. It is between the post office and O'Day's department store. Between the post office and O'Day's department store. What is the place? The gym. Joe's gym. Joe's, Joe's gym. Joe's gym. Mm. It isn't here. The gym. Is there a uh, on Second Avenue? No. No, there isn't. There is one on First Avenue across from Shopping Center. What is across from the Shopping Center? Electronic store. Uh, across from the Shopping Center, so electronics? Store. <clears throat> electronic store, very good. Is there a uh, around here? Yes, there is. There is on the corner of Main Street and First Avenue. What is the place? Yes, they want is a uh, payphone. Payphone. Alguna vez usaron uno de esos? A payphone. Yes. <laughs> okay. Is there a uh, near here? Yes, there's one next to the gas station. Next to a gas station. What is next to the gas station? What is next to a gas station? A public library. Mm -hmm. Then it's just a public library. So. And finally, are there any? 
on First Avenue, not the that, and there are some on Maple Street. Restaurant, the station, restaurant. Okay, let's click on send. And uh, okay, very nice. You got 10, 33 or 33 points in this exercise. Very good job. So, do you have any questions about this? Questions? Okay, then let's continue. We have already solved this exercise and let's continue with the presentation. Just to finish the class, let's go with the next. Okay, speaking about your neighborhood. Look at these places, a bookstore, coffee shop, dance club, drugstore, a gym, an internet cafe, a karaoke bar, a library, a movie theater, a music store, a park, restaurants. So let's see, is there a good bookstore in your neighborhood? Is there a good bookstore in your neighborhood? What is a bookstore? What is a bookstore? Tienda de libros. Yes, you are right. So is there a good bookstore in your neighborhood? In the example we have chess, there's an excellent one across from the park. And I have this other example. Are there any coffee shops? Are there any coffee shop in your neighborhood? You see, we can use this useful expression, right? Sorry, I don't know. Si no sabemos, ¿verdad? Si hay o no hay en nuestro vecindario, then you say, sorry, I don't know. Sorry, I don't know. Are there any cool dance clubs? I'm not sure, but I think there's one next to the shopping center. Just to say something. So look at this useful expression. Sorry, I don't know. I'm not sure, but I think, of course, there is one. For example, si le pregunto, ¿hay una pupusería en su vecindario? Of course, there is one. Claro que sí. <laughs> en cada esquina de las colonias hay una pupusería. That is great. So now let's look at these places. Uh, bookstore. Is there a good bookstore in your neighborhood? Kevin, is there a good bookstore in your neighborhood? Um, yeah. Um... Is 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 there a uh, next uh, next next street yeah. to 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 front to front of of the store? Excellent. Then you say yes. There's one. Yes, there's one next to the store. Next to the store. Thank you so much, Kevin. Then let's see, coffee shop. Maria Magdalena, are there any coffee shop in your neighborhood? Uh, yes, yeah, there is. There is one uh, near of my house. Okay, excellent answer. She said, of course, there's one next to my house. Thank you. Let's see, dance clubs. Flor Ramos, uh, are there dance clubs near to your house or in your neighborhood? No. Are there any dance clubs? Hay lugares para ir a bailar en su vecindario, Flor Ramos? Then you say, no, there isn't any. Yes, there are two. I'm sorry, I don't know. No, I don't. Ah, okay, you say, I'm sorry, uh, I I'm don't sorry, know. I'm sorry, I know. I, you don't know. Okay, that is great. So let's see, Ana Gabriela, are there any drugstores in your neighborhood? Yes, there is. Uh, there is one. 
Uh, yes, there is one across from church. Excellent, excellent answer, I think. Then let's see, let's go with Aida Marisol. Is there a gym in your neighborhood? No, they are in. Ah, no, there isn't. No, there isn't. No, there isn't, perdón. No, there isn't. No, there isn't. Okay, that's great. Let's go with Abel. Is there an internet cafe in your neighborhood? What? Well, he must be busy. Um, let's see, Joanna Maria, is there an internet cafe in your neighborhood? Sorry, I don't know. Okay, thank you. Very good answer. Kevin, is there a karaoke bar in your neighborhood? Repeat me the question, please. Is there a karaoke bar in your neighborhood? Oh, no, there, there isn't. No, there isn't. Okay, thank you. Maria Magdalena, is there a library in your neighborhood? Yes, there is. It's in front of the park. Thank you so much. Aida Marisol, is there a movie theater in your neighborhood? No. No, no there isn't. There isn't. Is there no, a there is. music? Okay, thank you. Flor Ramos, is there a music store in your neighborhood? Look. Flor isn't there, right? So Ana Gabriela, is there a music store in your neighborhood? Sorry. Water. <laughs> I did I didn't. No escuché, perdón. Is there a music store in your neighborhood? Just emojis. Um, no, no, there isn't. No, there isn't. Excellent answer. Thank you. Let's see, Jessica Hernandez. Is there a park in your neighborhood? Jessica, Jessica must be busy in this moment. Thank you. Let's see. Let's finish. Any volunteer to answer? Is there a park in your neighborhood? Anyone in crypto answer? Anyone? Anyone? Let's see. Kevin, is there a park in your neighborhood? Mm, no, there isn't. But, 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 uh, there's one, uh, uh, eh, como se, se, se dijera uh, a swim a swimming swimming uh, a park swimming park no. uh, ajá 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 uh, water park there ah is wa water park. water water park yes there is a water park okay excellent very good and the next one, restaurants. Are there restaurants? Maria Magdalena, are there restaurants in your neighborhood? Sorry, what? Can you repeat? Uh, yes, are there restaurants? Yes, there are, because it's a mini touristic place. Oh, really? Where do you live? I live in uh, the Century of Santana. Oh, okay. That is a nice place to go, right? Many people visit that place. Every yes. Time. Okay, excellent. Awesome. So, let's see. Um, una pregunta. Si me la responde, se puede desconectar y se puede descansar. Nos vemos. Are you ready? Who wants to start? Anyone here? Anyone there? Just one question and you can go. And you can leave the class. Anyone here? Me. Okay, excellent. Let's start with Maria Magdalena. 
Maria Magdalena, what is a barber shop? A uh, barber shop is a place where you can cut the hair. Okay, excellent. A barber shop is a place where you get a cut girl. Thank you so much. Bye bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. Uh, anyone here who wants to continue? Me, teacher. Okay, what is a grocery store? What's a grocery store, Kevin? A grocery store. It's a place where you go. It's a place where you uh buy buy a some some things uh for our or as uh fruit fruit and and any any anything. Okay, excellent. Yes, by a uh, grocery store is a place where you can buy food like fruit, vegetables, grains. That is excellent. Thank you. Oh, yes, yes, food, food. Sorry, yeah. sorry. Water. Don't worry, you did great. Water. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. See you tomorrow. Hello, Ramos, are you ready? Me. Okay, tell me, Water. what is a library? Water. Library is, is a place Water. where you Water. was Water. and dry clothes. Water. Library and... No. Laudromat. Oh, Laudromat. You listen to Laudromat. Oh, Laudromat, yes. Laudromat is a place where you wash and dry your clothes. Thank you, Flor. See you tomorrow. You did a great job. Bye-bye. Anyone is ready? Me. Okay, Ana Gabriela. Uh, what is a stationery store? A stationery store is a place where you buy car and paper. Thank you so much. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Anyone is ready? Alina Marisol, tell me five places we can find in the neighborhood. Hey. Um, there is the um coffee coffee shop. Mm, coffee shop. The break cup. Uh, breakfast. Okay. Um, there is a um, uh, is um. Supermarket. There is a supermarket. Excellent. There is a um the, the school. <laughs> there is a school. Very good. That's there okay. is a there is a, a police station. There is a police station. Excellent. Thank you so much. Thank you, Aida Marisol. Thank you so much. Thank you for it. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. Nice. See you tomorrow. Good night.